appreciate it. I appreciate y'all hanging out with us, and I uh, appreciate Luis Paul Urena for, uh, for chatting with us. Obviously, you know him. I don't really need to introduce him. But uh, Luis, just talk to a big picture for a second. Senior year, World Series. Is this kind of the culmination of a, of a lot of dreams for you? Absolutely. I mean, I remember just watching the game when I was younger and was saying, I'm a play there, my mom said, yeah, you know, but as a mom, she has to be supportive. Yeah, it's kind of a, oh, yeah, sure you are, Luis. Yeah, as soon as, <laughs> as, soon as we won, she told you, said, remember when you told me you are going to play, now all your dreams are coming, coming true, and keep having faith, and you're blessed. That's what she said. She said, just stay positive and, and go out there and have fun, most important. And, I mean, it's 18 and 22-year-old playing college baseball. This is where yeah. you want to be, so we're real excited to be here. And, and we're not just happy with here, as you know, the past two games, we're, we're, we're not, we have business to take care of. Yeah, that's what I was going to ask about. Obviously, uh, here in Omaha, there's a, a lot going on. Tough at all to kind of balance some of that with, hey, we're here to win games and, and hopefully get a national championship. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot going on. You know, you got like all your downtown, and that's where our hotel is, so there's always something going on. You got the zoo that's known as the third best in the country. So, but I mean, when it comes to time to game time, once we get on the field, we know it's all business. And for those three, four hours that we're there, we know that what's at stake, and we're going to go hard and. We're not going to quit, as you know, that the past two games we waited to the eight to do stuff. So, I mean, we, we know that as long as we have outs, we're going to be very dangerous. You know, what you mentioned there is something. I was talking to someone recently, uh, not an MSU fan, but has been watching a lot of MSU really kind of last year or so. And, and that's one of the things they said. They were like, man, MSU just never quits. And, and I, I get the feeling that's sort of a, a theme behind this team. You guys don't give up. No, I mean, like I said, as long as we have outs, we consider ourselves very dangerous. And, I mean, we we could we should stop waiting till the eighth, but I mean, as long as we get runs, whenever it is, we're we're fine with it. And if we're down ten in the ninth. We're not, we know we have the capability to coming back, so we know that that we're always gonna be good enough to be able to beat anybody. Yeah, uh, zoo later today. What animals are you looking forward to seeing? I'm a penguin guy, so I'm gonna go see the penguins and the monkeys. They said the monkeys are the best part of the zoo right now. Yeah, there, there are penguins and monkeys. There's no elephants I found out. Nah, Vaguely uh, disappointing, but uh, monkeys and penguins. Absolutely. Why penguins? I, I'm. I'm not, Nothing against it. I was just a little surprised to hear that. I don't know. Some of the guys gave me some slack because because uh, I have a penguin black whenever we, we travel on on the bus. So I don't know why there's something about penguins that, that catch my attention. So we'll see how fun they are. Did you read Mr. Popper's Penguins as a kid? I've seen the movie now, but I didn't read the, the, the book's good. You should always read the book first. <laughs> the movie's good too, but read the books too. That's what I, everybody says. I, I, I was going to ask you about something. I, I know you had said after the game. I think you tweeted. Uh, it was uh, when dedicated it to uh, Jojo Linder. Mm -hmm. uh, I think I have the, the name right. Mm -hmm. uh, can you tell me a little bit about uh, the story there and, and who Jojo is? Uh, Jojo, she's uh, the daughter of the older Brian Michaels. That's what they told us. And I mean, she got diagnosed with leukemia. And I mean, me having to go through that, I got a Facebook message from one of the family friends to tell us that we can do a little something. And I mean, I've been I've been tweeting nonstop, and I've been trying to get in contact with the family because I mean. As, as in a personal perspective, I know exactly what they're going through and my family does. So we know that support's a big key right now, and that's all we're doing. And, all, I mean, all these guys are behind it. We just want to know that whatever we can do for her just to give us a call or whatever whatever we can, we're here for her. You seem like you, you've made a lot of effort in the team as a whole to help people and you to be able to use the experiences you've gone through. Have you found that you've been able to help people and that – they can be encouraged from talking to you and, and talking to people who have gone through it. I, I think so. Even if it's just for, if, I, if it's just for a, li a little, a little amount of time, and, and then it, it can just snowball from there, and they can just be like, you know what? If I say positive, good things are going to happen. So I try to encourage people as much as I can. Even if I'm just walking down the street and I see somebody, I'll tell them have, have a great day or something. Just a, a couple words to try to make their day better, and then from there, I mean, like I said, something can snowball into becoming a great day. Right. Uh, well, just looking forward to the weekend. Uh, last thing I'll let you go. E excited about uh, getting some more games and hopefully getting to the, the championship series? Yeah, absolutely, and we're ready to see the, the whole crowd in the room. Right. All right, well, again, Luis Paul Urena. Thank Appreciate you. Appreciate you talking with us and hanging out.